Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This is not a typical video in my workshop. Um, I'm at home now in my office working on some designs and I haven't had much time to really work on my cars and my car projects because I want to keep my company running and develop new cool products for the online shop and uh, I would like to show you some insight, to give you some insight on the development process. I think this could also be interesting for you and show you on this example step by step how these parts are developed and how they find their way finally onto the market in my online shop. And what I have here at the moment, what I'm designing right now is a short shifter for the W202 combined with the six-speed manual gearboxes from the later models because I think this is the best swap you can do to increase the performance and the modern like feel on these cars so I wanted to offer like some kind of uh, swap kit gearbox swap kit excluding the gearbox this is what you have to buy yourself somewhere but to give you all the, the peripherals, the, the stuff you need to get it running on the car. I already have like the cable harness for the reverse light switch and other stuff. So the, the gearbox mount and stuff like that online. But I think what is missing and most important is the shifter linkage, including the shifter. Because if you don't have that, you need to build something from the shifter linkages from the later models which can be tricky and might not be as nice as having like a plug and play shifter you normally have to cut in the in the gearbox tunnel around and uh, remove material from the car which you never can repair or get it back to the state where it was originally so here is my design the green piece you see is the gearbox tunnel apart from the gearbox tunnel this is something i measured from the real car you see the four holes here which are in the car with threads where the normal or the, the original shifter modules thread to uh, mount to and i wanted to use this opening only and not have to cut out something from that uh, area and also I wanted to have like a, a shifter like in the BMW scene you know where you can just buy like a nice racy shifter which has a much higher position so closer to the steering wheel which gives you automatically a much more racy feeling if you don't have to move your hand so far away from the from the steering steering wheel while, shi while shifting and also what was important for me to have like the the movement range shortened in every direction so not only the front and back movement when you shift the gears for example from third to fourth but also have like the sideways movement shortened so it is all consistently shortened and feels normal and nice because uh, you might know these gearboxes they have this kind of linkage I have an original one here so this bolts to a pin coming out of the gearbox and with that every gear is controlled so you have the front and back movement and you have also the turning movement which selects the gear pairs let's say and uh, you can design you can easily design a shifter which shortens the front and back movement but uh, if you just make the bottom longer it will shorten like i said the front and back movement but the sideways movement is always the same because it is uh, it is clinched to the angle you need to turn this uh, input shaft from the gearbox so to reduce that angle you will have to have like a ratio here which i made with this linkage here 
So you see the sideways movement of the shifter. The shifter knob turns around this point. It has this lever length here and it connects with those ball connectors to this lever length which is shorter and therefore you get a ratio which means that you don't have to move the shifter knob that much sideways to uh, get the, the, the right angle for selecting the gear pairs and uh, that's why you can move up the shifter close to the steering wheel without having to move it so much sideways which would be the case if you wouldn't have this uh, ratio here and for the front and rear movement you see that the uh, ratio between the shifter length on top which is this one and on bottom it is much longer on the bottom side compared to the original which means you don't have to move the knob so much back and forth to link in the gears and uh, this of course needs to be tested so this is close to the final design it took me I don't know 20 hours maybe but there will also be some adjustments I think uh, after having the prototype here and testing it on the car and uh, it will also be adjustable for different engine positions that's why you see the, the slot here so you can elongate this uh, connector um, because on the five and four cylinder models the engine sits a little bit more in the front it's around two and a half centimeters and on the six cylinder engines the gearbox flange sits a little bit more in the back so this needs to be shorter and that's what can that's what should be possible to adjust with this uh, slot connection here so this is universally fitting plug and play to any any engine type and in combination with the newer more modern six speed gearboxes and we already got some 3d printed prototypes here so what you just saw in the designing software we have here printed in nylon it's very strong stuff very nice And uh, yeah, I'm still waiting like for the standard parts, the screws, the the joints. I already have some parts here, so see there's already some ball joint inside. And I'm still waiting for the clips here, for example. There will be some some bushes here, and uh, then it can be assembled and. I think this is so strong it could already work like in on a real car but it's just for testing the movement the movement range the feel and uh, also I need to finalize the distance for the linkage here so this needs to be tested and fitted on the car so I have the real length and then I can like measure how this should be from this point to this one and then I perfectly can match the, the positions for the different engine types we are in my workshop now and I'm disassembling the M104 turbo shifter linkage wise I already got most of the standard parts so here you see the pre-assembled prototype from the 3d printed parts also with the standard parts, the ball joints here, the screws, the, the bushings and uh, yeah, I now disassembled this linkage here. You might know this from an older video when I assembled this, customized this and uh, yeah, you don't have to do this anymore in the future when this product is finalized. So you don't have to shorten this uh, frame here 
and you don't have to shorten this linkage and adjust the, the movement and stuff like that. It's very time consuming task to make this fit and also you won't have to cut out the gearbox tunnel like I did. So usually it doesn't look like this. You only have a cut out in this shape, in this area. And you can use all this standard. All this can stay original. And I think this will be very beneficial to do this gearbox swap. And uh, yeah. I will place this in the car now, then make uh, the linkage in the right length so I can use that for, for the final design. I already noticed some flaws which I will uh, make better in the design. So for example, this uh, piece here has two centers of rotation which is this one and this one and as you see the connection between those two points goes not uh, in a straight direction so therefore when it moves up and down you see it is already turning a little bit and this can be made better so I already changed the design but I will still use this to test it I think it will still work but that's why you always it is good to, to make prototypes and to test them on the real car before you order a lot of parts and uh, put a lot of money into a project. And uh, I will show you in a second how this looks on the car. Placed it now in the car. I was very lucky that I didn't remove the bolt holes in the gearbox tunnel. They were still there. So I could test fit them. So I could test fit the shifter and also validate that the holes are in the right spots. And this is now the middle position. So ideally this will be the neutral position of the shifter knob. And maybe on the camera it's not so good to see but the distance between the steering wheel and the shifter is very close. So imagine the knob here. I'm still waiting for this one. I wanted to make it separate. so. To maybe change the design also and uh, yeah, the, the movement is very very short so I think this will feel very racy when driving like this like make very small shifts like this that's how it will be hopefully I will try to do the linkage now and then we can finally validate how the, the shifter feel is and how the movement range is. Got the linkage and also the covers here in place so you can see how it looks with all the interior on. There is enough space to use like a leather bag without a knob, for example from the 190 Mercedes. This could be placed here and then you wouldn't even see the mechanics down there and this could look really nice and imagine then black anodized aluminium for example black knob it would be a very stealthy design and uh, for the linkage the shifting range is very good i think for the sideways movement i cannot confirm now because the plastic is too squishy so if you move it to the left um, you will twist the, the, the plastic piece down there and it's very elastic so you will twist it, twist it and then you feel the, the gear comes in but of course when this is a steel part this will not twist and I think for example it will be like just this movement here on the same on the right direction with the plastic as I said yeah. You see it's a long way to move, but to place the gears in, you can already get a feel that it's very short, so already very sporty feeling. I will show you the mechanic from below and uh, 
I got the length now for, for the six cylinder and that's all I need to know. For the five cylinder I know that it needs to be adjustable 25 to 30 millimeters longer and then it will be fine for both engine types. Uh, so the five cylinder is also the same length as the four cylinder for the shifter linkage down there. Let's have a look. Here you see it from below. And there you see the twisting of the plastic part. But I just confirmed the sideways movement because if you lock in the gear you can see the difference of the shifting range between the first and the third gear for example and it's around two centimeters so on the shifter knob you have to move two centimeters to the left or to the right to select the the gear pairs and uh, I now can disassemble you also see that the distance to the flange here is enough there's almost one and a half fingers going in and also for the hardy disc, so the bigger one, the 110 millimeter, there's enough space. I might change it a little bit here so there's even more space because to the top we still have some range. And then it's fine I think. I'm really happy with the design, how it, how it fitted. And uh, I will optimize the last few things and then it's time to bring this to production and then it's around two or three months until it will be available in the online shop i think but uh, yeah that's the state the status of this project at the moment i wanted to let you know what i'm at at the moment because not much videos were coming in the few last few weeks or month um, much stuff to do to get the company running to but yeah, you see I'm productive and uh, I do my best to bring nice products for these cars to the market. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe and see you in the next video.